going pretty fast. Wow. It's on the lead core. That was about 10 feet deep on a copper, I believe, a copper trigger. Not the Trigger Spoon Junior, the full size. I was uh, heading back to the boat ramp here, so I wanted to bump up my speed, so I, I went ahead and put on a full size Trigger Spoon, actually two of them, and uh, they've both been getting whacked. This feels like a good fish. Man, I love that lead core, baby. It's just so simple, it's just super effective. I know right where I am in the water column at all times. It's just super simple. Wind is messing with me big time, making it tough to steer. There we go, I'm into the top shot. I'm running a uh, 50 foot top shot today. 50 feet of uh, 17 pound fluoro, and then a uh, 48 inch 10 pound fluorocarbon leader off of a trolling swivel. And that fish is putting up a tussle. Staying down. Oh yeah. Oh nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Because I don't have my net today, so I'll wear him down a little more. Oh he's active now. Okay. Trigger spoon, baby, getting it done. Ha <laughs> ha! Copper trigger spoon, man, that's a good color. That is just, uh, just fantastic. That spoon has been working so well all over Northern California, and uh, it's working here at Rollins. It works on holdovers. It works on wild trout. Good thing I fought him gentle. He came right off the hook. Anyway, we'll get him back in the lake. That dandy trout jumped all over that spoon that over there tangled up again but, Woo! <laughs> there we go back in the lake <laughs> oh man that was cool that one. Ooh, fish on. Fish on, baby. There we go. Woo! This is my dedicated lead core rod, and I looked high and low for a rod like this. First of all, I love the color. That yellow blank, it shows up great at low light conditions. I can always see the tip. I just, I just like the way it looks. Um, it's a composite rod. It's six foot six inches. It's a two-piece rod. It's easy to transport. I love the feel of the cork grip. Um, I like the long handle. I like the long foregrip. It just uh, it just feels right. Um, and the action on this rod, it's a little bit heavier than a traditional trout and kokanee rod. And that's important when I'm using lead core line. Um, that little bit of extra backbone, it allows me to cope with the weight of the line. Even though I'm using one of my hybrid lead core rigs and I only have three colors of lead core on, it's still fairly heavy, you know, especially when you have all three colors out. So it's nice to have a rod with a little bit of backbone when it's time to reel in that line. It's also nice to have that backbone when you catch a big trophy trout. And you know me, I'm always looking for a trophy sized fish. And this is a rod that I can land those fish on. I'm gonna be in control, not the fish. It still has a sensitive tip, but that middle section of the rod, it offers a lot of backbone, a lot of stability when you're reeling in your lead core, when you're fighting a big fish. And uh, my reel, I've got a 5500 Abu Garcia LC, um, 20 pound braid ba uh, backing, three colors of lead core. This is 17 pound test lead core. On top of that, I have an 18 foot fluorocarbon top shot of 17 pound test comes down to a trolling swivel 
And off of that, I'm running a 48 inch, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And today I'm trolling, trolling flies, working really well here at Lake Davis. Anyway, I just thought I'd share a little bit about that rod. I know you guys that watch the channel all the time noticed it. I mean, how can you not notice a beautiful yellow rod like that? 